something on my behalf, a solid work on my behalf, amen. Yes. So tonight we want to give him a yes praise, amen. Hallelujah. And we have new voices in the house tonight, amen. Put your hands together, yes. They're going to bring us to the throne room of God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And all the way from Jamaica, we have Henry Fire, Clifford Henry, Clifford Henry Fire in the house, amen. amen. And also we have Joycelyn Stewart who is going to bring us into the presence of the Lord with a dance. Hallelujah. Woo! Praise the Lord. And you will see our guest preacher also. He is a worshiper. He will be coming real soon. Reverend Michael Smith also will be leading us in worship tonight. Woo! Hallelujah. And oh, from Hope International Ministries, the Hope Praise Team. Hallelujah. treats tonight. Relax and enjoy, but don't be a participant. Don't be a spectator. Be a participant. Amen. We don't want people sitting down and watching. We came to worship the Lord. Let us all worship together. You know the song. Join. If you don't know the song, just sing it to God. Lift your hands and worship the Lord with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We give God praise. We want to welcome our brother Timothy MacLeod to give us the open prayer. Hallelujah. Timothy, let's welcome you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a privilege to be here at conference time. It's a privilege to be here with everyone here and to see so many friends you haven't seen for so long. God bless you. Thank you all for coming. Amen. Let's pray and let's commit this whole event to the Lord. Right? It belongs to Him. Right? This is not just our show or our event. This belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we give it to him, we're going to also ask that he change us in the process of this weekend. Anybody agree with me? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we bless your name and give you glory. We thank you for the opportunity, O oh God, to come into this house, O oh Lord. Lord, to gather together as your people together, Lord God. For, Lord God, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Father, we share in that, oh God, sharing with each other's company and, oh God, being here, Lord God, with fellow believers, oh God, all from different places, churches, ministries, groups. We are pleased and privileged, Father, to be in this place. So we thank you, oh Lord, first of all, hallelujah, for the opportunity. So, Lord, we commit this conference to you, Father. Lord, may it not be just our conference. May it be your conference. I'm asking in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, that you touch every heart during this weekend, that you move upon every heart this weekend in a special way. Father, that you reveal yourself to every heart, O oh God, hungry after you. We're asking to do a special work. Lord, please, please, we ask, don't make this conference conference as usual, but make it special, Father, for every soul calling on your name. Father, we give you praise and glory for this. Bless everyone in this house, the ministers, oh God, all that share their gifts, time, and talent. Lord, renew their strength. I give you praise for doing all these things, Lord, and we believe in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Welcome again to Hope International Ministries. Hallelujah. We want to acknowledge in our presence here our head pastor and the wife, Reverend Trevor Grizzle. And Pastor Maureen Grizzle. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also want to acknowledge um, a, 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 a brother and a sister church, whichever one you want to call it. Yes. And um, our tech is here. Amen. Woo! We have the Bishop of our tech, the Reverend Dr. Clarence Boyd is here. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I appoint you for giving us a greeting. But we thank you for coming. And all special guests right here, you are welcome. Amen. This is Hope International Ministries International Conference. And our first night is always a praise and worship night. We want to come before this throne with praise and worship. Amen. 
that he can do whatever he wants to do. He can heal the liver set free. He can open blind eyes. He can raise the dead. Whatever God wants to do, we just want to open the door that he does what he wants to do. Amen. So tonight, just know that your situation is not too big for God. How big is your God? Amen. That's the question. How big is your God? Whatever you're going through, whatever the doctor says, just know that God is bigger than that. He has the final say. Amen. Yes. So let's worship, let's praise him, Come let's on. adore him, let's give him everything that is in his name tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. With a hand clap offering, let's welcome the Hope International Ministries praise team. As they open the
are used to Africa from Nigeria, you go to Benin and then Togo and then Ghana. Amen. Amen. I'm going to sing a song from Ghana. It's international. You learned something new today. It's Bologna. Amen. It makes you alone. You alone deserves all the glory. Amen.
Just make sure you grab your healing, your deliverance, whatever it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. No, we Lord say the Bible says praise him in a song, but also praise him in a dance. Amen. And in the house today is a powerful woman of God who ministers with such grace and power. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Joyce Lynn Stewart. Oh 
can be like those men in Capernaum. In the room there is power, but yet <laughs> they couldn't touch the power. Because they were full of skepticism. That word didn't come out even right. But four friends who were not in the room, they were passing by. They felt the power. And they said, no, we got to bring our brother right here. Because yes. something is going on in that oh, room. Yes. Something is going on in this room today. Hallelujah. 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 And guess what? They brought their brother. They couldn't find space to take him in. They had to go to the rooftop. Yes. Break through the rooftop. And when he got there, power got into his bones. Yes. Jesus says, get up, take up your bed, and walk. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the power made him whole. There is power in the house today. Amen. Amen. There is power in this place today. And oh, guess what? We're just somewhere halfway through in our day yet. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a man of God here that we want to welcome to give a greeting. When he speaks, even demons struggle. Hallelujah. He is the bishop of our tech. The Reverend Dr. Clarence Bond. Let's put our hands together. As this man of God comes to give us a greeting. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, you can do better than that. special. I felt the Holy Spirit moving in this place. And if you're inside here and you didn't feel it, you're not alive. Amen. Amen. 
I'm gonna do this song and uh, it's a song I wrote a, a, a few uh, months ago maybe. And uh, I'll just share it in Jamaican style. Can I do that? Yes. Can you turn that track up and just let it play? Tonight, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh. I take my burdens to the altar. I lay my troubles at your feet. I'm bowing down in full surrender. I give to you my life complete. Please don't let me walk alone. Coming to just lift us up in the spirit again 
and take us to into a stratosphere and wherever it is that God wants to land us, we'll land right there in his presence. Amen. Right, to text payable to Hope International Ministries, we want to give by text, it is 84321. Oh, give. God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Let's have the uh, Hope Praise team as uh, we do this. Uh, we give cheerfully. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Whatever you give goes to supporting the conference. So just sow a seed. Sow a seed into your miracle, whatever it is. That God, I sow the seed. How much it is, I sow that seed into a miracle, into a breakthrough. Those who be coming to the conference, something you're asking God to do, why don't you sow a seed into that miracle? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Let the abundance overflow, Father God, with wheat. And let all your not cease to flow, Father God, for them. We pray that God, whatever their hand finds doing, shall prosper. Make a way where there seems to be no way, Lord. And Lord God Almighty, we pray your blessing upon everybody in this place. Let them receive that which their hearts desire. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I wanted to welcome them. Um, the guest speaker. I no, will wait a little bit. Somebody special had to um, introduce him. Amen. Praise the Lord. So as we're waiting for somebody special to introduce the special. Hallelujah. Let's do the song as we wait for somebody special. First time. Hallelujah. You deserve the glory. I'm the honor. Lord, we live our hearts in worship as we bless your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor and the honor Lord we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name you are great
fire, fire. Yeah. And the thing is, it's a solid word. No hype. One of the things, one of the reasons I'm, I'm having him back is that he gives you the solid word. You know, sometimes people come, it's a high jump, high decibel sound, it's hype. And afterwards, you've got, you've got cotton candy. And it's so, so sweet to the taste, but there's nothing there afterwards. But he gives you A1 steak. A1. Yeah. And I went back home and said, thank God for the word he brings. And so he's back tonight again. He's back this weekend to be with us again. And uh, Reverend Williams, some of you Reverend um, Smith, Michael Smith, please come and say hi to you. It's so good to see you again, my, my brothers and sisters. I am I'm honored to be uh, back here in this place. And I feel so at home when I'm here because I can cut up and nobody looks at me like I'm crazy because y'all cut up right along. <laughs> Cause y'all just wow when it comes to this. Y'all just get all in it, and I love it. I've enjoyed everyone who has ministered in this place tonight. Um, my first time hearing you guys, and just y'all blessed me, y'all tremendously blessed me. And um, I'm I'm so grateful um, to the to the the man of this house, the man and woman of God, uh, set here to lead. I honor you. I honor you. I honor you. And I thank you so much. Um, I'm humbled by the opportunity to come back. Um, you know, when you when you go and preach someplace, you just hope you don't mess it up. <laughs> you know, you hope you, you preach right. <laughs> you know that you really do a good job with God's word. And I'm honored to be back. And um, and so thank you so much. And I, I look forward to what God is going to do. Um, as I got to the hotel room, and I thought I was going to go to sleep, and Holy Spirit said, "No, take you on it." tour of what's going to happen this weekend. It was just, uh, I'm excited about what God is going to do. Um, but as, as, as we were singing and worshiping, and I was sitting there kind of just minding my own business, trying to just enjoy the worship, the um, Holy Spirit arrested me about uh, some of the folk in the room tonight, and, and I just feel led to, um, to speak over your life and to pray for you. And it is particularly to the Nehemiahs in the room. Those of you who you were just living your life unassumingly just, and somewhere, somehow, God suddenly pulled you apart and said, I need you to lead. I need you to step into a leadership role. Might have been within your family, within your workplace, but particularly in the kingdom. He called you and just said, I need you to lead. And if you are the kind of Nehemiah type like me, you felt underqualified, didn't feel like this was really what you should be doing. And even now as you walk in and sometimes you feel like, Lord, do I have the capacity to really do this? Am I doing it right? I believe there's some Nehemiahs in the room. If I'm talking to you, I want you to just slip your hand up. All those Nehemiahs in the room. Because the Lord wants <laughs> what you're doing is not enough, that it's not good enough, that it won't last, that it won't. As a matter of fact, can you just say that with me? The devil is a liar. What God has called you to do is say, had to encourage himself in the Lord. So I want you to just pat yourself in the chest and say, God and me. God and me. We're enough. I want you to say that. I want you to mean it. God and me. God and me. We're enough. We can do this. We can do this. Whatever that leadership role is, whatever that position is, whatever that task is God put in front of you, you and God, that's all it takes to accomplish what he called you to do. Like I said, it's nothing deep, but you needed to hear that. Yes. Do you receive that tonight? I need to know, do you receive that in Jesus' name? Then just going to tell somebody, I got this covered because the Lord is with me. You remember what? I got it covered. I can do this because the Lord is with me. All right, let's um, 
Oh, my say this. You know, man, you know, man, I'm not playing Feel free to worship with me in this little moment.
before we go, what we'd like to take you to is Africa one more time to praise the Lord. Amen. In Africa, when we're praising God, depends wherever you are from the east and from the west to the central of Africa, south. You know, when you see people praising, you know, if we haven't, if people are not sweating, they haven't praised God. <laughs> now you know that. Those who are from us, we praise God. We we praise God. Amen. Yeah, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you know, the same thing here. All those who have the African blood in them, they praise God. Amen. That's how the whole praise. We take you to Congo. Just a little bit. To let me feel Congo praise. A Congo list praise. Amen. Now the song we're gonna say is this says Jericho is breaking. Amen. Buka Buka Jericho. Amen. Every Jericho will break. Amen. And the Buka Buka Jericho. Somebody say Buka Buka. Buka 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 Jericho. Nanya Tassa 
announcement before we close. And tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. we'll be having a breakfast uh, meeting at the Crown Plaza. It's always a time to just relax, eat, and ask questions. Any question at all. Amen. Any question at all. There's going to be a panel of, of six um, Holy Ghost feet, uh, men and women of God. Any question you have about Christianity, whatever it is, you're welcome to bring it. If we can answer, we pray in tongues. The thing is um, triumphing through the struggle. Now we have tickets here, a few tickets left. If you want to be there, please see me uh, for a ticket. It's $20. You can pay $20 to see me work something out, all right? We want people to be there. It's not the money. We want people to be there to be blessed. So you want to come, uh, please see me, all right? And be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to pray and close and then we'll, the praise team will have the last round of praise as if we are around fine. Uh, but we want to pray and close for tonight. Amen. We have um, Bishop Walewa around. And I always say when I see bishops, they cannot go without having to juice out the blessing they have for us. Amen. Let's welcome Bishop Walewa to give us a closing blessing. I'm expecting. I'm expecting to see a glimpse of God. When you see, I mean tonight, cross out everything you plan to do tomorrow for breakfast for the evening. I see in the spirit. God revealing himself through the message coming and the songs of praise. When you see the, a glimpse of God, very little glimpse of God, you have all the faith that nothing can break. If you can lift your spiritual eyes and say, God, I want to see a glimpse of you. He said, Moses, to Moses, no man sees me and lives. All that changed with Jesus. He said, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Amen. When I see the glimpse of Jesus, a little piece of that glimpse of the Son of God who was crucified on the cross at Calvary, I have all the faith of God to move mountains. I don't pray, give me pray, give me more faith. Do you have faith at all? Is that something there there? Faith at the seed of a of, of, of as, of, as a mustard seed can move mountains. Amen. What more do you need? Yes. Give me more faith for what? Is that there something you should say? Stop praying such stupid prayers. Give me more faith. What will you do with it? A little faith moves mountains. Yes. Moves the sicknesses, diseases, corruption, poverty. Everything is annihilated by the, a little glimpse of the face of Jesus. Yes. Come tomorrow. Show up. When I, hear, I see something happening at hope, I leave everything and come to fill the, my, my belly with the good things. Thank you for coming. I'm, I'm ready to drink. I'm going to empty everything and come tomorrow. Eat food and hear the word and dance before God. Amen? Amen. Father, these are your children, sons and daughters. You have ordained them before the foundation of the world. Lord, when you died, when we believe on you, you have translated us from a dark world into the majestic light of the gospel into the kingdom of God far above everything that could disturb us. Can I present these your children to you, Baba? Keep them in your bosom. 
tonight. Prepare their hearts and minds to hear you. Open up the, the eyes of heaven in their spirit, that the spiritual eyes may see the eyes of heaven and behold Jesus. Lord, we are ready to receive. Prepare us, continue nurturing us, bring us in, wash us, clean us, snow, and then fill us with your power. May you keep them, guide them, guard them, provide them, protect them, and bring them joy for it. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He cause His face shine upon you and be a blessing. May the, He could increase your desire to love Him, to fear Him, to follow Him, to bask in His presence. And the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit be upon you and your family and your business and your friends. In Jesus' name, and everybody shout, Amen. Amen. Before we go, I just want to emphasize again, in the morning at 9 o'clock, we have this breakfast and a panel that is there to feed all your questions. The theme is triumphing in the struggle. Now, perhaps all of us have some struggle. How do you triumph in that struggle? Now, we have tickets. If you cannot pay the $20 for the ticket, you can come and see us. We'll give you one, or you can pay whatever you can. But it's been tremendous time. Every time we have these, these panel discussions and panel questions, we ask the questions. It's always a wonderful time, revealing time. People's uh, questions are answered. They feel that they say thank you. So please come in the morning at 9 o'clock, okay? If you feel you need a ticket, come to see us. We don't have the money to pay. All right? Thank you. I want to say thank you again to New Voices. Let us put our hands together for New Voices for coming to bless us. I want to say thank you to Jocelyn Stewart for dancing and that powerful to bring miracles to us. We want to say thank you to Clifford Fire Henry.